One of the first Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 smartphones that we reviewed this year is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. I have been using this for more than six months now, despite reviewing a lot of devices on this channel. And you know what? I still love it. This Galaxy S22 Ultra is actually amazing at taking photos and videos. Siguro it'll take about seven months before we see its successor. At you know, kahit medyo excited na ako for Samsung's next big thing in February 2023, so ko by really squeezing its capabilities by continuously playing games on this device. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang mga nilalaro ko sa phone na to and not just type of, uh, simple type of games. No? I'll talk about games that support a controller like this Razer Kishi V2. Let's get started. Alright, for those of you who are not familiar with this Galaxy S22 Ultra, this is packed with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, 12GB of RAM, and 256GB of internal storage. Since the time I actually got this, uh, and with all the games and apps installed, this still has about 158GB of internal storage na available, at saka meron siyang uh, idle na 4.7GB of RAM. So far, hindi pa naman siya mabagal gamitin and I don't experience any performance hiccups while playing games. Now, as you can see, this Galaxy S22 Ultra fits perfectly on the Razer Kishi V2. I have a full review of this controller on a website with an attached Vivo X80 Pro, so you can go and read it out. Now, if you're a mobile gamer, performance matters and this Samsung prepped this phone to satisfy you. So, kahit hindi ito marketed or advertised as a gaming smartphone like Nubia or ROG Phone 6 that I talked about a few weeks ago. This phone has gaming specific features tucked into it. If you search for game booster device settings, it has all the essential features to either optimize your phone so it can reallocate resources to speed up your game. Importante yan no, sa mga games that really push the phone to its limit. This feature gives you a specific uh, presets no, from performance down to battery saver. Alright, let's talk about the controller-supported games that I play on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let's start off with Stardew Valley. This is a classic favorite, and if you've been playing this on PC, where this game was first launched to, pwede mo na matransfer actually yung save uh, game mo no, to your Android device. It was actually surprisingly easy, <laughs> actually, no? And uh, ginawa ko lang is I, I copied uh, the folder of my specific save from Steam, uh, and transfer it inside Stardew Valley folder of this device. If you're looking for a farming and sim game, you'll never go wrong with Stardew Valley. I know that this isn't something that we will push no, the phone to its limit because it's pixelated the game, but this game is still enjoyable to play to say the least. The game is highly rated on Steam and the Google Play Store and I totally encourage you to play this one on the Galaxy S22 Ultra or on your Android device. Next up, Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier. PUBG Mobile does not natively support controllers on Android unless you can a Mantis Pro. If there's a Battle Royale game that you know, somewhat supports controllers, Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier is my recommendation. The game is a free-to-play Battle Royale multiplayer game with game elements and mechanics from the highly popular Final Fantasy VII series. The game is set uh, 30 years before the event of the titular game and it calls back certain locations, uh, items, material, and even characters and mga summons na, that uh, fans of the series are very familiar with. Ang sa nito, no, especially when played with friends at kagaya ng sabi ko kanina, kung fan ka ng series. Next, pag-usapan naman natin ang Grid Auto Sport. Ito, kung naghahanap ka ng game na you know, somewhat looks like racing, Real Racing 3, uh, Gran Turismo, and also Forza Horizon 5, this is Grid Auto Sport. This is the closest mobile gamers can get to a AAA title counterpart of this game. Now, all you gotta do is race, master a range of racing disciplines, and collect cars in Grid Auto Sport. This also has excellent controller support and is definitely enjoyable to play at maximum settings on this device. Next up, let's talk about Sierra Lim Ultimate. I know, pixelated game na to, GN, eh. But you know what? Think of Sierra Lim Ultimate as one of the best monster catching games on Android. It isn't exactly the best looking game around, just like I mentioned earlier, but you'll be surprised with the level of depth you know, of this game. Apart from the story, you'll get to collect over 1,200 creatures 
Uh, you can fight, you can fuse, you can craft your heart's content, no? This game is also available on Steam with a very positive rating. There is also cloud saving feature tucked into it, so you can always play this game on Android or PC anytime and anywhere. It's very easy actually to port your game from Steam to your Android and then back to your Android to your Steam, no? So that means you can really enjoy this game wherever you go. All right, so lastly now, guys, we've got Streets of Rage 4. This retro beat-em-up game that was made with love is finally available on Android. The game works great on this device with or without a controller. Multiplayer will come very soon on this Android port, but it has been enjoyable to play on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So, ayun nga, uh, undoubtedly, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is still a competitive flagship device that isn't just built for productivity and, of course, uh, for whatever you want to do, but also for gaming. Sobrang sulit pa rin talaga to, no? And if you happen to see one being sold via marketplace or if there's a postpaid offer from your telco or favorite telco of choice, this phone is still one of the best phones around. That's it, no? For our video today, let us know if there's any phone that you would like us to talk about. This has been GN, and I'll catch you on the next video.